It's a brilliant game for scanning someone's face in. For me, I've scanned in a magazine of an awesome marine. We've got a couple of mates on there, but I don't want to show that to you, so... you got a 3D camera, which is super, super easy to take photos of. You got that, which I have... I've played it, but I... Well, there's a small problem with it. You need really got need no people who have three DSs. I think I'm the only one who has a three DS in the village. You've got your me maker, your health and safety warnings, because yes, you have to be over seven to turn on the three D. Activity log, system settings, download and play. Also, there is an internet button. But also it says there that you need to update the system software, which I have fully up to date, but it hasn't yet been added yet, bearing in mind that this review has been recorded at on the thirtieth Darn I God darn it. I need to change the time anyway. Well let's see how quick we can easily change the time. Open. Yeah. Let's see how quickly we can change the time here. We might have a little Thing pop in the corner if I can put it in there. I think other settings, date and time. Today's date because the times. Date has been set. Close. And once you close, I think it does a system reboot or something to calibrate it. And also, let's explain what's up here. You got the uh, brightness options. You've got the ability to change it from. Oh, you can make it smaller. Wow. You can have them from single row to two in a row, three in a row, four in a row, five in a row, six in, six in a row and six is the highest you can go and you've got all that memory and also this thing does come with a two gigabyte sim card so you have no real need of worrying about running out of memory or when you're taking photos you've got a game notes so you can easily uh, <laughs> draw whatever you want this is probably what might be the ex the, the in exit is it's just a random picture you can also you can easily go across to this one so I can just write really bad high and uh, go back to the home menu really quickly that is the thing I like about this you ha can go to the home button really quickly that well this is what you need the cards for and if you activate it you use both of the cameras on the back and to make it 3D, but I'm not going to play it now, that's going to be a different let's play. You got 3D camera, I think I've gone over this already. Oh yeah, that's what I was doing. You have a friends list on this, and also, since me, also, there you go, if you, if you have me, uh, if you have a Nintendo 3DS, there is my name, I will be accepting all names. There's my friend code. Stupidly wrong. I'll probably have that in the description. Got my friends list, which is empty. Yay. Whoop whoop. And uh, we got notifications. That's for the little bluing light there. You got look, notifications there. It gives you a small brief to t pop up, and also it comes up with a little circle. And the LED there will flash and all that fun stuff I was going to say, I wonder if 3D works I better not try it, also internet oh well that's really it of it and, and also you, I will tell you something that is different you, uh, something that's a bit of a con on it uh, you cannot turn on 3D that on n normal Nintendo game or Nintendo DS games. Sorry, uh, 
I can't. I've tried it on my. I've tried it on a Pokemon Black, and that's been released just before the 3DS was released, so it hasn't got the capability of 3DS or 3D ability. Otherwise, that would be pretty cool. Now we've got some safety nuts to go over. Of course, if you're over seven, you, you, if you have a son or daughter who's over seven, do not let them turn it on. It will damage their eyes. Eyes are damaging. And also, I think it's something like you have to take a break every 15 minutes with 3D on, and to take a break every hour with 3D off. So standard stuff, really. But I'm listening to the um, and also 3D does drain the power a bit tremendously. So if you're wanting to use 3D, use it in your games. Don't use it when you're in the menu. It may look pretty and all, but you will be finding that you will be recharging your batteries a bit more. And also, the thing has a new sleep mode. So if I just now it's in sleep mode and open it back up, reactivate it, and I accidentally hit the T 3D on. And I'm trying to think of anything else to add, but well, I think that's it. So I'll now go to Price Runner. I will now run prices on it, and also turning off is really easy. You can just well, you hit the power off button, and well, it's done. Well, we'll now pack it all away in its nice little case, which is very nice. It's got foam. And also, if you plan on getting one of these, I hear website deals are better, but please check for variations in stores. And I will now run to the local price runner. And that is the 3DS. It's a nice, good little gaming system. To be honest, there ain't much 3D games out so far, but Ghost Recon is pretty good. So far, my general software results are nine out of ten. The only disappoint, the only disappoint, is really the um, well, it's just my personal wares. It's a brilliant, co well, handheld console, so. If you're buying it for a Christmas present or a birthday, well, who would buy that for a birthday present? Or maybe if you chip in or something. If your friend likes 3D films without the glasses, I would, I would get strongly recommend them getting that. They will probably love it. And also, if they like Ghost Recon or Street Fighter, they, you can keep their thumbs going with the 3DS with their own Street Fighter game. And well, now we'll run to the price runner map. See you later, folks. See you later. Once I figure out how to stop it. Stop. Nope, no problem. I'll probably edit this out. And welcome, folks, to uh, the price checker. I am your host, Orkboy400. This is, this is probably the continuation of the other video. Well, first of all, let's check the price of the 3DS in the UK. Please note this is the UK version. We're using pounds, not dollars. And uh, we are using game as a reference here. Of course, there are many varying different sites. And as you can see, the um, standard price of a, a 3DS Black is £196.99. pennies. Same for the blue. And also you got um loads of authors now you can get well four hundred just to pay extra couple of quid or like eight quid and you get um Super Monkeys or Ra Rayman or Racing Games or three D Assault. So and also if you are trading in here are some trading offers. If you have any of these consoles here, you may take the moment of pausing your screen now and 
and to look at the price of that, this is just the base Nintendo. Nothing else. And also, these prices are only guaranteed the 3rd of March 2011. I am sorry if you're watching this in the near future, but yeah, these are out of date. The prices to you're watching are out of date, so I am very sorry. So, oh look, trade in better than half price if you trade in a DSi XL and another DS Mario Kart game. But I think the offer's ended by now. But yep, and we'll now head over to the GameStop. As you can see, I have finally took myself to, well, I might as well do the Americans, because I think British pounds ain't going to cover a lot of people, so I thought I'd do America as well. You got the black one, which is $249.99, or is it shillings? I don't know. And same for that. And unfortunately, your bundle pack is, well, not really the best. Um, you get, uh, anyway, I think this is the, uh, you get Street Fighter, Nintendo, a 3DS, of course. You're not just buying Street Fighter. Oh, yeah. You get the 3DS, and. One moment. I'm just looking at the picture. Yeah, you just get the 3DS, whatever color you want, with whatever colors you want. And there might be more of them now. With the, I think it's the same one, but it doesn't look the same. So, bear in mind that is different. And also, I'll quickly show you, um, uh, blah 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 blah, uh, DS. Trying to find it. well, I well I can't find it, but uh, the uh, case I showed in my review it costs about no, fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence, and the sticks cost two pound or one pound. So uh, yeah, that's pretty good. And we'll now head back to the studio. See you then, folkies. See you then, folks. See you then. So for an over review of the Nintendo 3DS, it is very good, reasonable in price. I would say it's over expensive, but it's not dirt cheap. But the quality is good, and uh, it is a perfect gift for oh, your your mate, your friend, your father. You can get him brain training for that. It's still compatible. Just not 3D. You can even get you, even you can use it as a gateway to opening girls into if you may be a girlfriend into gaming or something. I don't know. But so far, I give it a nine out of ten. The reason why I de deduct one point is, well, it's not the best, but yeah, it's not the best in the. Well, actually, it is, but. It's really the uh, not everyone able to use it. That is really the annoying. So I, when I have my cousins up and they're like under seven, so I have to play it, turn off the 3D. So that's the reason why I give it to Duck One Point. I'm not being harsh or anything. It is a brilliant system and everything. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. And see you in the next review, folks. See you in the next review.